If you're searching for a way to use up all those extra t-shirts that are taking up drawer space, today on craft to care I'm going to show you how to make t-shirt yarn. I'm Diane and I'll be showing you just how easy it is to cut up those old t-shirts into t-shirt yarn that then can be used to make jump ropes, rugs, headbands, and so much more. And to catch all of our new projects here each week at craft to care including those using t-shirt yarn, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. All you'll need is some t-shirts that you're willing to cut up, a scissors, and perhaps a tape measure to measure out the thickness of your strips. Now a little bit about which t-shirts are best. You can use t-shirts that have prints on them or even embroidery as this one does but you will not be able to actually use that part of it to make your t-shirt yarn. So you'll end up cutting that section off because it can't be used as a yarn. It and the same with the prints. When you pull on them and when you stretch out your yarn, it won't roll up properly. So you generally don't use the prints either. Another thing to watch for in your t-shirts is if they have a side seam or not. You can use a t-shirt with a side seam, especially but if you're making something with a thinner yarn, then that seam will show up. So it's best to use one without side seams. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is line up our bottom hem and then cut that off because just as a side seam gets in the way of having a smooth t-shirt yarn, that bottom hem would get in the way with all that extra stitching in there. So we're just gonna cut that off the bottom of our t-shirt. We can use that for something else later. Next, since this t-shirt does have a print at the top and some embroidery, we're just going to cut that off at the top. So we'll go to the bottom of our embroidery and cut straight across. And then we will use that bottom part of the t-shirt to create our yarn. Now start at that bottom edge and just cut up to about a two inch thickness on the t-shirt. This is great for making jump ropes and such. This will be a thicker t-shirt yarn. So I'm just gonna cut along there about two inches keep it even you see when I tug on it about the thickness that it gets it gets a great thickness for the triple braided jump ropes now when it comes to the finger knit jump ropes we use a thinner yarn and also for the headbands but for this one we're going to use for braided jump ropes and we'll cut a two inch yarn and we just keep cutting around and around in a continuous cut all the way up to the top and end of our t-shirt and then when we get to the end we're just gonna have a little strip there and we will cut that off. And we stretch out our yarn as we go, and pull it tight and roll it up into our ball of t-shirt yarn. Now we can also cut off those sleeves that we don't want that to go to waste. So we'll cut off the sleeves at the top, right at that hem, get that side hem off of there also, and the hem at the edge of the sleeve. And we can use these sleeves then for making some other projects in the future. So I just will cut these pieces off now and then that t-shirt piece is ready to be used for making some other things like the headband poofs that you see here. On to our next t-shirt. We're gonna cut off that bottom hem again and now we're gonna cut up a little bit less this time, only about an inch to an inch and a half because we're going to use this to make our finger knit jump rope and the headbands and such. So this will be a little bit of a thinner yarn. So we will cut our strips a little bit narrower. And you can see that that stretch is much thinner. We can weave that between our fingers quite easily. And then the difference between the thicker and the thinner yarns you can see right there. Now you see there's two colors. So we're going to join them together. And I'll show you here. I'm gonna use two different colors, pink and blue, so that you can see as I pass one through the other, we're going to cut a little slit in the end of each of these pieces. So we cut one in the pink, and then we're gonna cut a little slit in the end of the blue one. And then what you do is you pass the one piece of yarn through the other, and then you take the blue and pass it through the hole in the pink one. Then you're just going to pull tight. And then you can see the little connection right there and how it shows up in your braided jump rope right there. You can see it just a little bit. We tuck that in. And then you can also see it in the finger knit jump rope. It's kind of on the back, but it's not noticeable. And there you have it. Old t-shirts into beautiful new yarn. 
And to find out what you can make with your new t-shirt yarn, check out our playlist for t-shirt yarn crafts and watch each week for new videos. And until next time, have fun crafting to care.